Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, Nick Collier here again, and uh, uh, you know, I had a project come up that uh, needed to be able to, I needed to be able to bend some heavier gauge material, and all I got is that little Harbor Freight piece of, well, Harbor Freight, uh, wonderful bender, uh, sheet metal bender, uh, or what is it called, a pocket bender, over there, and it'll only take up, uh, you know, 22 gauge at the, at the most. This baby will do up to quarter inch, at least that's what they said it would do. So I ordered it, it was a couple hundred bucks, it was made in America, I'm thinking, okay, cool, made in America, that's, uh, you know, I want to support that. Um, whenever I can. So uh, I paid it, paid the fee over eBay, got the piece back, and well, let's say it will do the job, but not very well. The thing was put together, I don't know, somebody wasn't paying attention because every, every uh, angle was out of square. So first thing out the gate I noticed, well first thing it came in pieces, of course I had to assemble it like an IKEA piece of furniture, which uh, you know wasn't too difficult, but uh, it was a little aggravating because uh, you know, I don't know, I just feel like you spend some money you want to buy something that you're going to just use immediately. So first thing I noticed is Lots of sloppy room here. Oh my God, we're having a great time making it uh, sloppy. And that's, you know, I, I thought, well, that's okay because it'll float in where we want to go. But I really wanted to get an accurate, um, an accurate bend. And if this thing's slopping around, yeah, you're not going to get an accurate bend. So anyhow, and plus... Uh, I'm trying to bend here. I'll show you what I'm trying to bend. So this is what I'm trying to bend. So the problem is, is that when you have such a big V in a smaller piece here, you can't stay on the line because everything moves around. The other part of this whole mess is. It's a good fit. Come on. Hey, this is like, you know, precision. Precision fits. So, you know, I almost sent the damn thing back and just said, screw it, I don't want it. And I thought, well, okay. It's got the basic shape here. I think with just a little fiddling around, I can come up with something that's going to be uh, usable. So I kind of took it back apart and I decided, all right, here's what we're going to do. Let's check first thing out the gate because we're going to have 20 tons on this and we really need a flat surface on the bottom. That's, a, that's the start. Well, whoever, I, and, I, and I cut a flat surface, right? Whoever welded this together just welded it together. and. Uh, Basically, that bottom was out by, oh, I don't know, it might have been 30 thousandths. I had to make two passes over that. And then, I, once I got that done, I thought, well, okay, so this center is going to be out, too. If the bottom was out, I mean, it literally was, had a pretty good-sized warp in it. So I came back in, and I took 20 thousandths off of the center here just to get it flat. While I was at it, I thought, okay, well, let's just square up these, these pieces of one inch here. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see it, but here on this side, we've got about, oh, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. And over on this side, it's about almost three-quarters. That's how far off it is. I mean, these things were tweaked, or actually, the other way. They kind of had, I mean, they didn't lay it out. I'm like, ah, well, okay, fine. So I just squared up the, the, each of the lines here and uh, brought it back in and, and you know once again the, the V is too deep 
Now, for cutting for quarter inch, or, or I mean for bending quarter inch, this V is perfect. But, but I, you know, was want, wanting to bend something different. So I put put this piece up on the mill, and I milled out a smaller V, and I, and that smaller V will will do this fairly accurately if I can get this thing to to square up. So I came in with a a little piece of bar stock in the back here kind of get it to square up. Let's see if it's still square. We're gonna just put this in without the springs on it. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, I got about maybe 10 thousandths or so. Um, you know, I think there should be just a little bit of slop in there. So what I'm going to do is come in the front here and drop a just a little shim in the front. Looks like maybe something just a little thicker than that. And I haven't built that shim. So that gets us to that point. And then I thought, well, wait a second. How am I going to get the get the uh, piece in here and ma make sure it's square up? Well, I need to be able to make a some kind of uh, uh, measuring device back here on the back side well okay so I'm kind of dinking around the, the shop and I'm looking around and I come up with this piece of stainless steel that I bought oh I can't tell you 10-15 years ago um, in a garage sale and uh, and so I took the piece and I cut it in half and we're going to drop this piece right down on top of here and it will sit kind of like that. Now I decided, okay, well, let's just take some two inch, two inch plate, two inch by quarter inch, put that on top of there and we'd have ourselves a usable uh, platform to work from. And I think, wow, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, we cut the platform and uh, now we're at a place where, we, where I want to put some scribe lines in this back plate so I can just run something in. Well, I can't run it in right now, but I can run it in and run it up to whatever line that I'm doing, make sure it squares up on this end and then come down with the uh, press. So we're going to take you over to the mill and show All you. All right. Well, so painstakingly, I came in and squared up this front edge, and now I'm doing quarter-inch grooves all the way across, all the way up. I'm going to take it all the way to the back side of this, and uh, and this will be our measuring plate. Now, um, you know, hey. It's taken a hell of a lot of time, but you know, and and I apologize because I I thought oh I'll just whip this thing out and uh, you know get get on with my day and and the hell with uh, video in it. But then as I get further and further along, I'm realizing this is pretty interesting little video. So, lo, why not video it? So we're gonna we've caught up. And now I'm going to take it in 250 thousandths, which would be three inches, nine. There is three inches. And we'll crank her up. Ready? All right, let's go.
Okay, we've got our grid marks, and basically this is going to go right about there, maybe just a little higher, and allow me to slide a piece of sheet metal in and get it squared up to the cutting or to the bending edge. So that's pretty good for that. And now what's also going to happen is we're going to bring in a piece of another piece of sheet. Uh, sheet <clears throat> to give us a full table to work with and what that's and then also what I'm going to do is come in with a uh, just a piece of metal here that's adjustable back and forth so I can get that squared up to these lines so all I have to do is bring a piece in if I want to bend it and I will just do it that way for butt it up against the piece of uh, perpendicular and slide it in up to the line that I want and I'm square. Well, uh, one thing, they're not wide enough. I need a good piece of half inch so I can put some uh, screws in here. And because uh, my fear is, is if I weld it, the the piece of material will, will uh, warp. But that's a good start. Yeah, I like it. So we're going to get some thicker material, uh, two inch. Let me go see if I've got something. All right, so we've got uh, we've got our plate, our our platforms, and uh, and when I so what I need now is a support for the platform, and uh, what I came up with is uh, this two pieces of half by two inch, which is just about the right height. It's actually a little bit higher, so I'll have to probably mill this off a bit. But while I was working on this base uh, and milling the bottom and milling this the, the, uh, the receiver area, uh, I put two holes in the, in the end on both sides so that this bracket could land somewhere in that general area. So we're gonna take a measurement of those holes and uh, and understand that uh, the holes are threaded so uh, I'm not going to get an accurate measurement but I'm going to get something and that will give me at, get me at least close so we're at 4 inches 233 4 inches 233 huh all right, well, let's first thing we're going to do is find halfway, and we're looking at 17 and 5 eighths. Well, so what's half of 17? So half of 18 would be 9, so it would be 8 and a half and 5 sixteenths. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's our halfway point. Let's make sure of that. We got eight and three quarters. And eight and three quarters. Okay. Square up our line to get it to transfer it down to the bottom. And we have a fairly accurate center. At least as accurate as it needs to be at this point. Now, 4, 2, 3, 3. Divide that in half. <coughs> Four, two, three, three divided by two equals two, one, one, six. Well, let's just put it in the mill and figure that out. Figure it out with the DRO. Why not? Let's see if I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll be fine. <coughs> Uh, 
Now, um, find some kind of center. Get you up there a little bit. How about coming in a little closer? Take my little centering tool. And since we're not very accurate anyhow, we can just kind of point this thing out. Something like right about there, I would say. That looks pretty good. Two, one, one, six. So let's zero that out and we'll go one, two, one, One six that looks pretty good. Uh -huh. Oh, let's do a little center drill first. And you're thinking, well, how why isn't he laying it out this way? Because I already did the other bar. And that is uh, uh, our height is is already preset. All right, we will go and uh, and break those edges and be right back. All right, clean off some chips, and we should be able to just bolt this thing together. by a mile. What happened? Yep, I would say. All right, well, we put it back in and we uh, we put it make a slot. Let's see, is it too narrow or too wide? Too wide. So we're going to bring a slot in. Okay, so our hole is too wide. So what we're going to do is come up to the hole. Run our bit down in just slightly. There it goes.
All right, back to this. I think we've got something now. I don't believe it. We're still not there. That's what I get for not taking measurements. I mean, you know, just faking it is cool. I mean, you would think. Just a little bit more. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we got this one on and we got the other one on. Now our panels are going to sit just about like that. Oh man, look at that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, uh, <clears throat> what we need to do is, uh, this is just a little bit high off of the, uh, let's see if we can take a measurement. So we've got a hundred and ten thousandths to remove from there. This looks like it's got a little bit of a warp to it. Oh, it does. Hmm. Is that going to hurt anything? Let's just see if we can straighten it out. put it on the floor and wedged it and uh, I think it brought it right back in. Okay, this is our side or the other side? This side. Yeah, looks good. And that's probably about the same 110 thousandths, I would say. So what we need to do is uh, take these off. We need to mill these at 110 thousandths lower. And then at the same time, the bottom is just a little bit uh, wide of the, uh, of the base. Let me see if I can flip it over and show you. Now it doesn't. It's just a little bit proud of the uh, of the surface, which means that it'll it'll hit and uh, it'll ride on this rather than this. And so what we're going to do is just probably take about fifty thousandths off of that, so that's up in the air a little bit. So uh, and I think what we want to do is actually leave everything in place and just mill it just like it is. First thing we're going to do though is take off the vertical posts. Okay, we're finally set up. We're going to take, uh, let's just take 20 thousandths off of this to start with, see what happens. Oil. 
Alright, let's go. All right, we're underneath by about ten thousandths, which is just about right. Okay, brush off our chips. And let's rotate this thing around. <clears throat> Do it again. I'm going to just take 20 at a time. So we'll start there. All right, we got it. And from this point, I think what we're going to do is spin this over, flop it down on the bed itself, lock it down on the bed, and do the tops. So let's take it loose. Okay, well, there's a hundred, and it, I said 110, but I think I'm gonna just pull the hundred and uh, see how it goes there. Um, so now what we need to do is flip this thing over. Let's get some of the chips out of here. Not flip it over upside down, but flip it over horizontally. Okay, there's two. 